Oh, hang on. Did you see something? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the freakiest and most entertaining reality shows with the supernatural as the main focus. They believe that this could be the little girl spirit from the Island of the Dolls. See? That's what they think. Programs mostly concerned with real crimes like unsolved mysteries are excluded. Number 20, Ghost Mine. I know I heard Joe, and I'm pretty sure that once I put it in the computer and amplify it, we're gonna hear it. Did you know that mines are haunted? Well, that's the thesis of Ghost Mine, a sci-fi show that ran for two seasons throughout 2013. The gist is simple. A team of miners goes about their business while two paranormal investigators observe the mine for spooky activity. The team also investigates areas linked to the mine, including a bed and breakfast that once functioned as a hospital. Ghost Mine is a unique addition to the genre, and by setting its sights on one specific location, the show builds an engrossing mythology. Plus, who can deny those beautiful Oregon locations? Sound like a growl. The hell? Number 19, Haunted. And I'm like, were you just here a few minutes ago? And she said no, that she wasn't home. Nobody was home, it was just me. It was only a matter of time before Netflix started their own paranormal show. The result was Haunted, a series in which people share their personal experiences with the supernatural. Stories involve a woman hanging in a young boy's closet, the ghosts of children in a well, and even a demon of war in Afghanistan. It's like a collection of short stories, each episode bringing a unique story with their own spooky scenarios. You don't have to believe every story. Heck, maybe you won't believe any of them. But each tale is entertaining in its own right, providing viewers with a healthy dose of creepy campfire tales. Every hair on my neck stood up, every fiber of my body it was frozen with fear. I was petrified. Number 18, My Ghost Story. Uh, my friend Philip went inside to get some food that we were going to cook, and I saw a silhouette of a figure walk back and forth in the room. This program shares much in common with Haunted, albeit with a few unique caveats. Like Haunted, each episode of My Ghost Story sees an individual recounting their experience with the paranormal. But that's where the similarities end. The tales in My Ghost Story are often linked to famous haunted locations, and each episode comes equipped with its own little history lesson regarding the place and its lore. The show also contains visual evidence captured by the storyteller, usually a homemade video that backs up their outlandish claims. My Ghost Story is for anyone who loves, well, a good ghost story. Another night, a crucifix was illuminated on my kitchen cabinet. I was in shock. Number 17, The Haunting of. I got an overwhelming feeling of, um, it's the best way I can describe it is like a depression. Beginning in 2012, The Haunting of served as a spinoff of Celebrity Ghost Stories, which appears later in this video. It shares a very similar premise to its parent program. Celebrities tell tantalizing stories of their paranormal experiences, often with the talent of an audiobook narrator. But this show takes the concept and the stories one step further. The Haunting Of brings the celebrities back to the locations in question. While there, they attempt to find answers or maybe even closure regarding their paranormal experiences. It's a fun twist on the concept, adding an extra dimension to the already spooky stories. When I open that door, yes. are you prepared for whatever we may encounter? Yes, I, yes, I am. You are? Okay. Absolutely. Well, then let's go. She's Re beginning to frighten me. You Number 16, Psychic Kids, Children of the Paranormal. It's exhausting when people are coming at you from a skeptical perspective, especially as a young child who's trying to process an unusual experience. This show contains exactly what it says in the title, Psychic Kids. These children supposedly harbor supernatural powers, whether it be clairvoyance, the ability to speak with the dead, or any number of out-of-this-world abilities. The original show ran between 2008 and 2010, with a number of professional adults speaking with the children and helping them control and harness their supernatural abilities. A reboot aired in 2019, in which some children returned as adults and helped a new generation of psychic kids. The concept is original, and the kids often make for entertaining subjects. Like, how can someone with clairvoyance not be entertaining? Like, between those two trees, it feels like there's something over there. Number 15, fear. Okay, facing the number two, turn right and walk around to the front end of this cylinder. Over. Released during MTV's heyday, 
Fear was a fascinating and endlessly entertaining show. The concept was inspired by Richard Matheson's Hell House and its 1973 movie adaptation, in which a group of experts stays inside a haunted house and investigates its paranormal properties. Just like the story, Fear sees a group of strangers staying inside a haunted location for two nights. If they make it to the end without tapping out, they receive a cash prize. The show was a huge ratings hit, but it was too expensive for MTV to produce and they canceled it after just two seasons. It's a shame because Fear was an outstanding piece of television, equal parts entertaining and horrifying. Okay, purple will continue alone up to the third floor of Compton Hall. Red will wait there in the basement as the safety. Number 14, fact or faked? Paranormal Files. I saw my dog entangled with this thing, and my dog was screaming for her life. Most paranormal shows take the paranormal at face value. That is, they don't often question the validity of the stories. Well, that's where sci-fi's fact or faked comes in. In this one, a small team of experts watches a piece of paranormal footage and attempts to debunk it. Each expert has their own field of expertise, including photography, stunt work, and technology allowing for all the potential bases to be covered. Furthermore, team leader Ben Hansen used to work for the FBI, and he brings his professional investigative techniques to the table. It's basically a real-life X-Files, mixing skepticism with belief and providing a ton of entertainment in the process. We've got very compelling video, we have a credible witness, plus we've got an actual physical, tangible, location we could do a lot of experiments with. Number 13, Monster Quest. The first time I saw this animal, it was right here. And I was totally shocked. No, this isn't a video game from the 80s. Monster Quest was a show that aired on the History Channel in which a group of people attempted to find cryptids and supernatural creatures. Bigfoot is here, of course, as is the Thunderbird and the Chupacabra, among others. As you can imagine, they never catch these monsters on camera. That would have been worldwide news, but as its title suggests, the fun lies in the quest, not the destination. The stories of these monsters are a blast, as are the spooky hunts to find them. The show also goes all across the world, providing a good dose of variety and adventure. What's not to love? Rare opportunity to explore an area previously off-limits to Bigfoot researchers. Number 12, Celebrity Ghost Stories. Handprints on the walls. I get to hear whispering or talking. And we now get to the aforementioned celebrity ghost stories for its own entry. As mentioned before, this is an anthology show in which big-name celebrities like Marilyn Manson, Daniel Stern, and Michael Imperioli tell their stories of the supernatural. The stories in question are often chilling, and as many of these celebrities are professional actors, they make their tales as dramatic and engrossing as possible. There's nothing quite like climbing under a blanket and listening to gifted storytellers weave incredible tales. And Celebrity Ghost Stories delivers that in droves. It's 30 years ago, and it's still very, very real to my wife and I. Number 11, Scariest Places on Earth. Brayfriars Cemetery, a haunted abyss of tortured spirits. You can probably guess what this show is about. You're right, the scariest places on Earth. The show explores some of the most notorious haunted locations in the world, complete with first-hand interviews, history lessons, and, of course, an investigation. But what this show has that others don't is star power. The series has its roots in paranormal cinema, as it's hosted by Linda Blair and narrated by Zelda Rubinstein of Poltergeist fame. They bring a welcome degree of fan service to the program, and the locations that the show explores are often fascinating, not to mention downright horrifying. These are indeed the scariest places on Earth. 20 miles from the Scottish border, far enough in to not be a soft touch. Big castle, strong castle. People left chilling in the world. Number 10, Haunted Collector. Oh, dude. What is that? In the oversaturated market that is ghost hunting, Haunted Collector takes an original approach to the genre. Like most ghost shows, Haunted Collector follows a demonologist. John Saffis and his family as they investigate supposed haunted locations. However, Saffis takes it one step further by attempting to find and remove the location's trigger object, the item that a spirit has attached itself to, and which in turn results in the haunting. Oh my god. Yeah, Jason, the water's running in here. Yep, the show is essentially a real-life Ghostbusters. Sure, it's a little odd seeing Zaphis talking to a lamp or another inanimate object, 
but at least it puts a fresh twist on the tired ghost hunting formula. Do I think it's paranormal? I wouldn't jump to that conclusion. Number 9. Paranormal Lockdown Paranormal Lockdown is hosted by two veterans of the paranormal field, Ghost Adventures' Nick Groff and Paranormal State's Katrina Weidman. Despite their somewhat awkward chemistry, their experience makes for an informed and professional dynamic, as they tend to take a more thoughtful approach to their evidence rather than freaking out at the slightest provocation. Are you attacking people? Instead of one single night, the two spend 72 hours confined to a location, and their lengthy confinement often results in numerous pieces of evidence, however slight or dramatic, and often in broad daylight. Paranormal Lockdown is a raw, realistic, and less flashy approach to ghost hunting television. <laughs> Number 8. Paranormal State She's had a spirit tell her to cut herself. Something in the bathroom. While most ghost shows follow professional paranormal investigators, Paranormal State centers around a university club called the Pennsylvania State University Paranormal Research Society. Since outlines of the episodes were made in advance and the producers created story arcs for the students, naysayers may feel as if it's overproduced or even outright fake. However, regardless of your opinion on its authenticity and flair for the dramatic, there's no denying that there are numerous entertaining scares to be found. Just don't take it too seriously, and you may walk away a little unnerved. What the hell was that? What happened, Ryan? Something just moved right next to me. Number 7. Most Haunted If you want us to leave, then say get out. Maybe that was Get Out. Most Haunted is undeniably one of the most popular and certainly one of the longest-running paranormal shows on television. It follows a team of investigators led by Yvette Fielding as they explore various haunted locations throughout Europe. While Most Haunted has been the subject of various controversies and claims of fakery, it's nevertheless a very spooky show, and its age alone can certainly attest to its popularity. Can't see it. Don't let me go in here. The crew's reactions may be on the melodramatic side, and it seems to be more of a ratings chaser than an authentic glimpse into the paranormal but there is no denying that it still makes for entertaining and creepy television. <laughs> Number 6. A Haunting A Haunting is unlike the other shows of its kind, as it's more documentary than investigative. It tells the stories of various people who were seemingly afflicted by paranormal phenomena and has dramatic reenactments play over commentary from witnesses. Because the show is more cinematic than realistic, the paranormal stories go down far easier, and the show is more easily digestible as entertainment. I walked into the room and the piano was playing by itself. The production is also far better than most shows that revolve around reenactments, as the effects are generally believable, and it's both well shot and well acted. Despite possible reservations regarding the stories, A Haunting is nevertheless a terrifying glimpse into the unknown. <laughs> Number 5. Destination Truth Listen, buddy, I got two words for you. Haunted Forest. Hello? Destination Truth followed paranormal researcher Josh Gates as he traveled to various locations around the world to try and document cryptozoological creatures. While there have been countless shows regarding the possibility of Bigfoot or another monster of the week, Destination Truth tackles the subject with humor and skepticism. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's zebras everywhere. Gates and his team are hilarious and scathing, oftentimes disbelieving the outrageous stories. That said, they do find some downright chilling things, even if they're not mythological creatures, and the show makes for an informative look at various culture superstitions. And let us tell you, some of them believe in some creepy things. Look right there, right there, right there. See? See? What is that? Number four. The Dead Files She's like, get out of here, I own this. The Dead Files is a paranormal investigation show with a twist. A medium, Amy Allen, and a retired homicide detective, Steve Deshavi, team up to tackle the paranormal at a given location. Randy, let me ask you a question. I know a lot of people were buried on the property they lived on back in those days. What about Angie? Amy traverses through the setting while channeling and communicating with the ghosts, while Steve interviews witnesses and gathers historical evidence regarding the location. While it's true that Amy's psychic channeling may take some getting used to and will undoubtedly turn a lot of people off, The Dead Files is nevertheless one of the more credible and unsettling ghost shows concerning psychics. Is that an oxymoron? 
Maybe, but it sure is fun. I'm letting her jump me or enter my body so she can speak through me and I can feel her pain. Number three, paranormal witness. I made her especially for you. Thank you. The concept here is incredibly generic. People tell their stories of unexplainable and possibly paranormal phenomena. That's about it. While the concept is nothing new, Paranormal Witness stands above the oversaturated crowd due to its production values and captivating stories. These stories are not only frightening and unsettling, they can also be highly emotional, which makes for a sensitive viewing experience not found in other paranormal programs. All of a sudden, I felt like a hand grab my hair. These are scary ghost stories told with a keen directorial eye, and each segment feels like its own satisfying short film. If you're out of good scary movies to watch, Paranormal Witness is certainly worth a gander. Number two, Ghost Hunters. Did you hear that? That sounded like a door opening. That was weird. No discussion of paranormal investigations is complete without a mention of Ghost Hunters. It's undoubtedly one of the most popular ghost shows, and it provides over a decade's worth of freaky entertainment and some of the most compelling evidence of paranormal activity ever captured on video. Jacob, is that you trying to communicate with us? Sure, some people may criticize the show for its slow pace, but that's what makes it even more authentic and believable. You need the slow episodes to further validate the paranormal occurrences. This and Ghost Hunters International are some of the most reputable ghost hunting shows and their realism makes the unbelievable all the more terrifying. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghost Adventures Bro! Come here! Oh my god. Ghost Adventures is arguably the best and easily the scariest paranormal show on television, despite its rather eccentric hosts. The series follows several easily excitable men as they investigate haunted locations with high-end scientific equipment like infrared and structured light sensor cameras, and what results is some of the most incredible evidence ever captured on camera. While some may yearn for the old days when it was just three of them with video cameras, Ghost Adventures is still a highly entertaining show that features some of the most compelling proof of the paranormal. Even the skeptics have to admit that these guys have caught some truly incredible evidence. Did you hear that? Big thud. What supernatural documentary show haunted you the most? Tell us in the comments below. I looked to my left and I saw this white figure that seems to stop at the knees. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.